Welcome back to the channel guys. So if you've been following my mailbag videos, uh, you might have gotten a hint that I was getting some radios, uh, particular Baofeng radios and some accessories for them. And these are mostly for uh, hiking in the woods, either uh, going along with some of my friends who are hunters or going out with just uh, some of my friends who are photographers to do some photography. Uh, so we can keep in touch and not necessarily be uh, too close to each other. And uh, in the past we've used little FRS radios, but uh, their their range is not that great. Decided I'd get some uh, GMRS radios because they have a little bit more power output. And uh, they're legal to operate in Canada without a, a ham license. And I was looking around at them and I found these Baofengs and uh, people had uh, lots of good things to say about them prices were right. I mean, the, the recent sales, Black Friday and the 11, 11 sales and such uh, that came up on uh, AliExpress made these incredibly inexpensive. Anyway, let's get to opening them up. I have, I have three of these and one of these. So let's start off with uh, unboxing this one and then we'll discuss more about them as we go by. Now I think this one here is a UV5R. And uh, this one, uh, I think it came out to like $13 US, which is just, is, yeah, a UP5R, which is just uh, an incredibly low price. Uh, if this works anywhere near as good as what people say they do. So it's a nice manual here. It's got everything in it. It's all English. So they must package these up uh, according to the destination that they, they're being sold to. That's a pretty good little user's manual there. Straighten that out. There's the radio itself. Oh my, it's small. I was expecting something bigger. <laughs> now, I I have unusually large hands. I mean, I'm even for my size, like I'm, I'm just under six foot, but I can pick up a basketball. Uh, so you can't really go by my hands, but it is, it, it's very physically small radio. Let's get this thing off here. There we go. Nice. Very solidly built. I mean, it, it looks like it's some sort of um, fiber filled ABS plastic. Battery pops right off. This has got an FCC ID in it. So I guess this is okay for sale in, in the US anyway. I don't see any, uh, it's got CE on it. Uh, I don't see anything about Canada though, but there you go. We're a little bit less uh, uh, inclined to regulate something like this up here in Canada. And it looks like it's all ABS, like the chassis back in here is ABS. Battery snaps into place very nicely. Let's see what else is in the box here. Ooh, there's an extra bag here. I wonder what this is supposed to be for. It wouldn't fit around the radio. Anyway. We got an antenna. It's a small little rubber ducky thing. This looks like it might be, uh, I'm already guessing, but maybe a quarter wave antenna for the 70 centimeter band. It's a SMA connector on it. Yeah, it screws on there like that. <laughs> it can speak to you. Little wrist strap. Belt clip. A belt clip here. I guess this you have to take that off and put it in there. Belt clip and a charge stand. That's it. Oh, this is a, this is an incredibly light wall wart. I can't imagine it being a very good one. What's the output of it? It is ten volts. The stand is very charging stand is very light as well. Let's see how that looks. We'll plug it in. I'm not going to get into too much in testing them in this. This is part one. So I'm just going to kind of go through everything I got, and then uh, in part two we'll we'll test some stuff out. 
what I want to do is I want to I want to test the power of the radios. I want to test the kind of um, cleanliness of their output with the stock antennas and with some of the uh, accessory antennas that I got. You just basically check them out. Uh, okay. And it just sits there and blinks, does it? If you don't have a radio plugged in. Okay. Right, we've got a red light, I assume that's charging. Yeah, very solid, solidly built little unit. The controls feel very solid too. Channel mode. I guess you can switch between bands with this switch here. VFO, MR. I guess one is frequency VFO would be frequency, MR would be memory call. Frequency mode. There we go. Channel mode. Let's have a look at this one. Now this one is uh, the UV5RH, which is supposed to be uh, an upgraded model. It's supposed to have more power. And this is a, well, the UV5R is only a two band radio. I think it's two meter and 70 centimeter bands. This is supposed to be a three band radio. And uh, it seems to be pretty similarly Okay, now this has BF5RH. Some reading to do there as well. Okay, this is a much more substantial looking unit. Oh, it's much heavier. Much heavier unit. Much bigger unit too. It's quite a size difference in, the, in, the, in every respect. It's wider, thicker, higher. And much bigger screen. Battery is the same sort of thing. Slides on and off. Oh, this one's got a, looks like cast aluminum chassis. That's probably responsible for some of the weight. No, no certification on it at all. So I don't know if it's been certified in any country at this point in time, but there you go. It's also got USB charging, which is a nice feature. You don't have to bring your charger with you. All you need is a car charger, the USB-C. Yeah, okay. Let's turn this one on. Ooh, fancy. A little bit better audio too. Frequency mode. Let's see. Two, two, zero, 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 zero. Okay, so it does have that third uh, band that it can. That would be what a 1.25 meter band, much more substantial feeling, and it fits my hands really nice. Yeah. Okay, here's the antenna that comes with it. It's uh, longer and uh, thinner, more flexible antenna. Same connector though, female uh, SMA. And both of these have flashlights too. Are you supposed to turn those on, is it? I've seen a bit of other videos. Oh, there we go. It might be handy making your way back to the car after it got a little bit too late, but I'd probably have a, a light with me. Okay, I don't know about how, how uh, visible this is going to be outside in bright daylight. I think this, this one here is going to be a more visible display because it's just that LCD rather than this OLED display. Remains to be seen. So these here, let me get a knife to open that up. So these are little microphone speaker combinations. 
These will uh, plug into the side of the radio. You've got this little trapdoor here. And I believe this uh, configuration was first designed by Kenwood uh, some years back. And what this allows us to do is, is wear the uh, radio is down on our hip and have the microphone up near our ear where we can hear it and you know grab it quickly to respond. And it just It's got a push to talk to switch on it. It's got the microphone in it and a speaker. I think they're going to come in handy. It's going to improve the uh, usability of the radio. It also got it's got a little headphone output on it there as well. So if you wanted to put headphones on, uh, you could do that as well. These were on sale for uh, I think they were like a dollar ninety nine US each. That was a pretty good sale. That's where I went crazy with buying a lot of the stuff that I've had in the last couple of mailbag shows. It was in that uh, $1.99 sale because there were stuff like this, which is normally I think goes for around about 4 or $5. It was going for $1.99. If you get two other things that are equally well discounted for $1.99, then the set of three, they would ship for free. So I did that quite a bit. So this here is a, a programming table that allowed me to set up the channels the way I want. Now, I don't know if it's still true or not, but at one point in time, you could actually change the bands. You could actually add bands to this radio here by unlocking it and then using the programming cable and certain software. I don't know whether it was Chirp or something like that in order to um, add different bands to it. But I, I wouldn't imagine that would be very effective. I also got these, uh, these antennas here too. Now these are supposed to be, these are the Abri, is that it? Abri AR771s. And I believe these are, are supposed to be quarter wave antennas for the two meter band. And uh, I, again, I got these for a buck 99 each. So that's the only reason I got them right now. Uh, if I ever do, Try to use these radios of the two meter band it, it may come in handy for that purpose but they just go on here just like the other radio or the other antenna just like that and i got four of these pouches so i don't know how handy these are going to be let's see it looks kind of like it might be a bit big for this radio no, it's a little bit loose in there, but if you have it, it's nice to have the room for the microphone to connect up to it. What it does look like though, is going to be a, a little bit small for this radio. Welcome. Frequency mode. And it looks like it fits okay, but it's kind of stretched over that push to talk. Put the microphone in there, I may. Yeah, so if you press the push to talk, it doesn't release. So it may not be usable with these these radios here, which is unfortunate. But again, $1.99. Maybe I can modify them. Put a little relief in there, like a, a Ah, we'll see. Be nice to be able to get them to work with these. Yeah, other than those stubby little antennas that are still to come, the only other thing I got was this uh, Surecom SWR meter and power meter. Here's the unit itself. Built in a little aluminum case, quite sturdy. Comes with some accessories here. USB charging cable. It's a dummy load. 50 ohms, 20 watts peak, 5 watts average. Hmm. 
and a couple of little adapters here and one more over here not easy to get out for some reason I don't know why it has a special location there but it does so this is a male to male SMA this is a female to, male to female SMA so it's just really just a little extension this is a male to SMA to male BNC, male SMA to female BNC. All right. The SWR is pretty good as you'd expect into a dummy load. So 3.8 watts, that's pretty good. Okay, and let's try the other band. So we're, we're at 172 megahertz here. I'm sure we could go down lower and see what's like. 4.6, 4.7 watts, that's pretty good too. Let's try something like one, three seven zero 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 okay so that's much lower down in the two meter band five watts meeting specifications anyway we'll look at we'll delve into that much deeper in the next uh, video but just so i demonstrate this little meter here it looks like it's got a, a sample and hold feature which is nice that's the hall and we'll come back uh, in part two and we'll test out all the radios well test out a sample of these and this one um, with this unit here with the oscilloscope and various antennas and at different frequencies and see what we're really getting out of it we'll also I'll use my little spectrum analyzer to see how clean the signals are as well be sure to come back for that one probably in a couple of days and please let me know down in the comment section whether this sort of content is interesting to you or not I mean uh, it, it's always nice to get electronic based toys especially for some of the investigations that I can do into determining how good they are, uh, whatever, you know, like having a look at them, put them up on the scope. And that's all I have for you today, folks. Thanks very much for coming out and joining me for this. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.